Greetings, people of Earth. My name is Rob Whelan. My pronouns are he, him. Uh, I'm an author, game designer, uh, and professional nerd. And tonight, I am the host of Theater of the Mind Players, your friendly local actual play show. We are ya flaps. Tonight, we are playing Plain Gia uh, from Atlas Games. It is a um, prehistoric fantasy setting for the world's most popular role-playing game. Uh, or more specifically, it's a world of kinetic action, primordial horror, and mystic wonder. The uh, the game uh, is on its way from Atlas Games, so this is kind of half preview. Uh, hopefully it should be out by the time uh, these episodes come out, but with the uh, world supply chain issues being what they are, sometimes that may not be the case. Uh, in the meantime... Before we get too deeply into our story right now, um, I want to remind everybody uh, that you should, if you haven't been watching us from the beginning, go back to the first episode uh, so that you can uh, not only see how uh, our story started, but if you watch the session zero, you can watch uh, us uh, fumble our way through character creation uh, for uh, fifth edition. Um and the other thing, uh, speaking of 5th edition, the other thing I am very proud to to announce is that um, I asked all the players to level up before uh, they got here, and, and, and they did. They actually did their homework, which is very, very, very nice. Um, we're doing milestone leveling. Just so you know, we'll be leveling up every two or three episodes, uh, for those of you who are into the actual mechanical side of things. Um, but for everybody else... Let's uh, go around the table and have uh, everybody introduce themselves. Uh, tell us uh, who you are, uh, who uh, who you are playing, or whom you are playing, and what type of character they are. Let us start with our first mind player. Hello, my name is Tony Cheek, he, him, and I am playing Gorm, who is a rock dwarf. Like, literally, rocks are coming out of his skin, and he is a twilight cleric. All right, let's move on to our next mind player. Hi, everybody. My name is Jordan Fishburne, she, her. I am playing Inktail, a Saurian Hammertail uh, dinosaur person, and I am a barbarian. And what path are you playing? I am playing uh, the Far Striker path for the okay. barbarian. Uh, and that is out of the Plain Gia book, as I recall. That's why yes, I wanted to I can follow. throw things really far. Sometimes people. <laughs> she actually used one of the goons uh, as a weapon last time because of that path. Uh, a nice which, arc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was the underhand. It was overhand. We can worry about that later. <laughs> Let's move on to our next mind player. It was a jump shot. Yeah. Hi, my <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Sarah Babe. I'm playing Ayoku, who is a starling spellskin. Let's move on to our next mind player. Hello, my name is Ethan Ixett Anderson, he, him, and I am playing a half ooze, and before you, you see a door that gently sways open, and there stands Damp, the character. <laughs> uh, what what uh, type of rogue? I am your a archetype? scout. Okay. Uh, an interesting choice. Like, I, I don't see, you don't see a lot of them, them, they're scouts. You don't see a lot of them, they're scouts. And since we're doing more theater of the mindy stuff, I figured it'd be fun to mess with that kind of thing. Fair enough. It is in the name. It. It's their rogue. He's not <laughs> doing his job. <laughs> uh, and last but not least, our final mind player this evening. Hi, I'm Tawny Thompson, she, hers, and I am playing Pinecone, the um, Dreus ascetic or monk following the way of abnegation. Also uh, available in the Plain Gia book. Uh, we, we, a lot of uh, the, the crew uh, opted to choose at least one option uh, from the, the book, uh, rather, uh, or mix and match a, a couple of things. But um, 
And Everything I mean, is it has been adapted to fit the world. So even your half elves and your stuff like that are are their own thing. I'm a tree. Oh. <laughs> hey Tawny, because you're a tree, I have an owl joke for you. What's that? What do you call call an owl with no feathers? Um an owl bear. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Uh, if anybody out there unsubscribes, I don't blame you. <laughs> I do. Totally cool. I do, too. That was a great joke. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally, like, figuring out I could make that joke today. <laughs> um, so, when we last left uh, our uh, Plangia clan, they were uh, headed north to the wintry domain of the Snow Lord. Wisconsin. Um, and they had uh, hitched a ride on uh, a disco the stick. flying beasts uh, of the raider pack led by Cutwing. Um, so uh, the we open our story with uh, the sort of majestic views of the um, uh, the flying beasts as they swoop along through these. Uh, Gorgeous mountains and and snowy ravines, um, you know, really uh, filling in some CGI budget here uh, as the, uh, the 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 creatures uh, crest over um, uh, the uh, mountain range, and we see the Snow Lord's domain, this massive crystal ice palace that has been carved out of the glaciers and the snow uh, here on the mountains. It, it, it overlooks the valley um, as the flying beasts swoop in uh, for, for a landing. Uh, we cut to the, the bustling courtyard of the, the Crystal Palace, where um, there are uh, merchants uh, selling wares and, and, and arguing with each other about no the uh, about you know placement of their booth. Uh, there are a variety of people uh, who are you know, who are shopping and who are uh, talking with each other and you know, eating strange meals and bits of food as they go. Uh, and there are raiders, lots and lots of raiders. Um, this is significant because the Snow Lord has beckoned these raiders into his palace to discuss some sort of arrangement or some sort of uh, large treaty. Th these are the, the, the bits and pieces of, of um, rumor uh, that you've picked up in the, I'll say, like two or three days that you've been here. That uh, the Snow Lord has bigger plans than just uh, sitting atop uh, a mountain in his ice fortress that his his uh, eyes and, and, and his stomach seem to be growing looking down towards the great valley. Gorm. Mm -hmm. Whom are you are you are you walking by yourself as, as as we see you in the in the, 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 the courtyard area or are you walking have you are you I guess I should ask, is anybody accompanying him rather than him being like, you, you're, I'm forcing you to be my friend. Come with me. Where, where, where are you going? Are going? <laughs> uh, uh, where am I going? Do you have an idea or do you want a suggestion? Suggestion, please. Okay. Over the, the past couple of days, you have heard rumors that there is another cleric of the night eye Ooh. in uh, the area. Um, the, the, the night eye is uh, sort of a a loose association of the different aspects of the moon god that you uh, are a, a shaman uh, right. for. Um, so I think you are seeking out this particular um, person because when, you know, you don't get to see a bunch of the, the you, you don't get to hang out that much. Like you're all, you're all off trying to spread the, the domain of the, the night eye, you know, throughout all of uh, mm -hmm. playing Gia. So. And is is Night Eye the, the 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 official name, or is that just like a like Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance? Is it the tagline, or is it the real name? <laughs> <laughs> I think the night the Night Eye is the overall. I wouldn't say organization name, but like the, but like th that's what you call yourselves rather than we're a bunch of moon clerics. Like it's it's right. kind of the branding, I guess. Yeah. Um, 
We we have we have hoodies. We got beanies. <laughs> whatever you want. We got mugs. Uh, Tony uh, Tony decided to upgrade his T-shirt cannon uh, when he leveled up. So. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I I am going off to find this uh, fellow member of the Night Eye. If anybody would like to accompany Gorm, I would join you. Just Gorm and a big slop of goo. Okay. Half goo. It's Half goo. So Ador the Unconquerable. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing. You have uh uh you damp have um. <laughs> Definitely seen a few people kind of look at you like, you know, like, like as if you are some sort of celebrity or like they know you or, or something. If I ever get that look, I just do one of the. Oh, the old. Oh. Finger to the lips. Yeah. The old, the old, I'm incognito. Yes. Because <laughs> he's wearing a hood. <laughs> Do you also wink? With the Night Eye logo. On the- <laughs> Does anybody mistake your winking for flirting? Ooh. Ooh, your charisma is low. <laughs> you do unintended things quite frequently. <laughs> the two of you are, are winding your way through the crowded <coughs> streets, and you see uh, a, a tent that has been set up uh, with the... Um, the night eye uh, logo sort of painted on it. I'm it, I'm imagining it as uh, basically two crescent moons that have been kind of folded on top of each other. So one's smiling, one's frowning, and then the sides are crossed in in like an X. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the one tent that has all the sides on. Everyone else is kind of open. Like even though this is an ice palace, um, it's still pretty warm in here. Like it's not like mm-hmm. it's you know, it's definitely better than it would be outside. So, you, right. so those of you who have access to uh, magical abilities can kind of feel like you know how much mojo must be going into this thing to like to keep it tight, basically. <laughs> and um, uh, so that that also makes you think. Well, that might be why uh, you know the other member of the Night Eye is here because they had been drawn to this massive building on the side of a mountain that right. you know is is cycling through a lot of magic. So uh you said that it's a it's a tent. Mm-hmm. I, I um I inform damp <laughs> that I'm I'm going into the tent. I don't know if he wants to join me or if he wants to wait outside. Is this a I don't know if, would I know if it's a secret clubhouse <laughs> give me a religion check good luck i'm the cleric and i don't even have good religion it's all i about got a natural 19 for a 21 Ooh. Ooh. you know more than me <laughs> um you do know that um when the uh that the night eye tends to be relatively secretive I will also say that you recognize, like, so the, the, there are subtle variations in the, the symbol of the night. I had to kind of tell you like which phase of the moon that, uh, the cleric is, is, or the, the, the shaman is, um, connected to. Um, and you recognize that this is a, uh, a shaman who is dedicated to the arts of prophecy. And I think I'd wait outside. You don't want to be told pr- your prophecy? Nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no. He might tell you about how Swedor died. <laughs> maybe. And like, a- as a half ooze, we don't live long anyway. So like, I mean, that's keep, fair. keep it a surprise, keep, keep man. Keep dreaming, man. Keep dreaming. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, while he's being super laid back about the whole thing, I'm going to go inside. Okay. Cut to... Uh, are the, the rest of you together or let's, let, why don't I we just do that? would like to actually, no, or that's unless, perfect. But you, I probably approach ink tail. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. And pine tree cone, pine cone. <laughs> if you look down at the, uh, at the screen, you'll be able to see the names. What screen? 
The one we're oh. on right now. Yeah. 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 Oh, that was yeah. yeah. Like about right. Overlay. We're oh, in a matchbox. Right. <laughs> <Right. laughs> right. Name is last that piece of dumb. emotion. Where are all the matches? <laughs> <laughs> I okay. was going to suggest that too, Sarah. Okay, so I think I talk to Inktail and Pinecone, and I go, we have to find a way to disguise me so they don't know I'm a starling. Oh, shit. We, we got could... here before we covered damp in glitter. Remember, that oh, was the plan. Right, we were gonna... because we were going to make damp look oh, similar sorry. to you so that... <laughs> Oh yeah. So that you wouldn't stand out as much. Uh, what about mud? What if we dipped you in mud? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I... Oh, hey, hang on. Um <gasps> Like Arl Schwarzenegger What if I give you enough little branches and we cover you in them and then you can look can like a dryad. Do a perception check to see if we can see other starlings here. Uh what just... Yeah, what is your what is your passive perception? My passive. Actually everybody yeah, give me Roll a perception check. Let's do that. Uh, my Roll recommendation would just 11. be hold a potted plant in front of you. It's 11. It's worked in the past. It's worked in the past. <laughs> oh, that's way better. 18. Uh, 23. Nine. Um, <laughs> you do know there are other starlings here. Okay. okay. So, then we're fine. Uh, like, how many? Five. Enough? In, uh, yeah, enough. Cool. Like, in, in, like, many. Not yeah. a lot, <laughs> but enough that, like, you, they're not, you're not going to be turning heads. I think, Ayoku, it might be more suspicious if we try to hide what you are. Pinecone is staring into the distance, mouth agape. What are you, what? What are you, what are you? He's here. Oh! <gasps> no! Yeah! Your human is here. And he's se- he's actually selling... Um, mud off of a like a like a wagon back, uh, and talking, and you kind of hear him saying like the healing properties of this mud uh, are known throughout all of the uh, Great Valley. I personally scooped it from the um, I personally scooped it from the tar pits of Trangzia. Uh, Insight check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While they do that, I don't even say anything to either of them. I, I, li- just, I like how just my tone of voice, they're like, this motherfucker. Shady, shady, yeah. shady. Can I we just do walk an forward check? and then I stand really close to him and then I just like. Do you try to pose as a tree like again? This. Yes. I got a 20, by the way. Oh. That's not a lot. That's 11. <laughs> kind of like this. The, the tar pits of Trangzia, come on. There's no such thing in the Great Valley. There is no such thing as that. The tar pits, tar pits of Trangzia. I, well, why are you trying to fool all of these people? Hi. <laughs> I'm not. Well, would you? Are you interested? Are you interested in 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 some of this fantastic mud? You stopped picking mushrooms. It's mud of lies. Why well, did you stop picking mushrooms? Um, wait, you know this person? Pineco? That's my person. Remember I told you that I was collecting all the sketches and I pull out a weird little sketchbook and it's got weird sketches of like different random facial features um, that I have been trying out to try and remember what this person's and, and, and face And he, like. he snatched, he, he grabs one and he, he's like, see, it's your, your mouth hole. Yeah, look. He, he he holds the, the mouth. He's What's like, that word again? You don't remember mouth. her, mouth. do you? No, no. Of course I do. You were you were you were that tree. Inside I'm the tree. Track. It's not a. You don't just get to hit the button, Sarah. <laughs> so good to see you. And and uh, he gives the tree a big hug. Ooh, that barks rough. Why did you stop picking mushrooms? They ran out. Yeah. But they were always there. But not the ones that I liked. I'm pretty sure they were the ones that you liked. How old is this human? Uh, like mid thirties. Many, many, <laughs> yeah, many. <laughs> uh, like middle age. Middle age for a human. 
Like I'm, I am imagining p- him uh, played by um, Jake Nicholas Johnson. Oh, um, Johnson. Uh, I already from like the new him girl. So much. New girl. He's uh, <laughs> the uh, Nick, the the yeah. the main dude character in New Girl, or he's also the voice of yep. Peter B. Parker in Parker. Into the Spider Verse. Into the Spider Verse. I should be the one saying that. Wow. <laughs> Google him during the break, and you'll be like, oh yeah, that guy. <laughs> he was in Jurassic Park. Yeah, he was. He's, he was World. in like one like. One of the, I feel like they yeah. all kind of cycled through and were like, sure, I'll take a check, whatever. Yeah. Um, well, you know, sometimes tastes change. I thought... You didn't like my mushrooms anymore. No, no, that's not true. Don't, don't be sad. Okay, introduce me to your friends. Pinecone. Who is this? Remember I told you why I decided to stop being a tree? Yes. I found him! Because yeah, I'm the reason she stopped being a tree. I'm Ruja. Hi, Ruja. Oh my god, he has a name. I grip him a little bit. <laughs> 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 nice to so meet you. So what are uh, you, you, you guys doing here? What bring, uh, Were you following me? Mostly. Oh, that's so sweet. You talk different. I'm sorry. It was is, is this more what you well, that's because I was talking to myself. I mean, when you talk to yourself, don't you sound different? Because no. when well, he talks I mean, to strangers, when I talk to he myself, lies. it sounds more like That's what? true. <laughs> yeah. See, that's what I remember about you. I remember that <laughs> You just told me that you like eating the purple sun and that the trees smell hey, like dirt. I'm a little rusty, okay? <laughs> hey, purple sun's some good shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the least I can do is buy you and your friends dinner. I thought you were going to say mud. <laughs> what, what, what is dinner? Well, you eat. I mean, what, what do you... It's the final... Mammal meal. I know this kebab place that's like two streets down. It'll change your life. I could watch you eat. Do tree eat? No. Do I need to eat? Actually, if I eat, I get poisoned. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't need to eat either. I just... The sun. Yeah. I'll take you up on that. (laughs) Fine. You can have theirs. I'll need it. (laughs) I do eat enough for three people, I'm sure, easily. So that's fair. Cut to... (laughs) <laughs> the flap closes and darkness falls. Hello? Are, are you in here? I am searching for a fellow member of the Night Eye. I hear you, Night Eye. I hear you as well. Now that we have established that we can hear each other, do we want to talk? Come sit by the mirrored pool and like a a small glowing um, pool appears. Can I tell if the voice is coming from somewhere or is it just kind of everywhere? It's kind of everywhere. Okay, then I just go to the pool. Like, remember how last time you were using your your tricks of the... Thaumaturgy? That's what what, uh, this shaman seems to be doing. Okay, then yeah, I just... uh, Slowly move over to the pool, not making any sudden movements because I don't know what's. Yeah. What have you come to seek? Um, I don't know where to begin. As a child, I was raised by a different clan than the one I belong to now. Um, but I have been called by the moon, and unfortunately, that's really all I know about the matter. I, I am. I worship the moon. I shall hear your questions, and the night I will answer within the pool. And you, you do see a, a thin hand stretch out and gesture across the pool. And, and, and as, it, as the hand goes across the pool, a ripple forms underneath it. Mm. Speak your questions, child. Well, as, as, as far as I know... There are more than just me who worship the moon, but there are different, shall we say, 
categories of moon worshippers, and I don't know what my purpose is. I just know that I've been called to the moon, but to do what, I know not. The pool waves start to form, and then ripples, and then finally you see the night sky. And one by one, the stars wink out. Does this, by chance, have anything to do with the race or battle of the starlings? It does. Am I supposed to find those who have fallen? No. You are known to me as Star Killer. <laughs> Cut you. Ooh, Sam Wilbur's going to be pissed. <laughs> I have never been so terrified for a character's life in my entire life. <laughs> Iokus? Yeah. <laughs> Like, I, I I haven't planned any of this death shit. Well, sorry in advance for me killing you and such. <laughs> Boom. A heavy arm drops on your shoulder. Well, if it isn't my old pal Swaydor. No, a heavy arm. <laughs> no, harder! Harder! <laughs> Does the arm just go <laughs> thump? This is my old pal Swaydor, says the green skinned orc. With, uh, in, uh, he smiles, and you see two uh, tusks um, jutting out from his jaw, and they, they both look like actually, they still have like last yesterday's meal on them. Ew. Ah. Quality. Save food. I've uh, come here semi-incognito. I'm not announcing my presence, so if you could keep it on the down low and not spread it around. Wink. I have a plan going in the background while I'm here in the city. No. Oh. You want to cut me in on this plan? You're just kill a starling. Great. <laughs> Not yet, but if uh, you want to keep... <laughs> oh, me too! A high five, they do it. <laughs> 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 just, no by muscle memory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not at the moment, but if you want to make sure that people don't know I'm here, wink. Give me a uh, persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly spit coffee all over my mic. <laughs> Thirteen. Are you working with Red Tooth? Let's say no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're eight, so we're eight tails just punch the wall for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> the entire kebab From place. The other side <laughs> of the city. <laughs> There's a chance I'm trying to raise people against Red Tooth. But again, I wouldn't spread that around. Wink. Are you saying out loud wink when you wink? <laughs> Yo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the, 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 we, we have the, the social graces crew over here in this corner. <laughs> this is so hard to watch. <laughs> and yet still entertaining. I just, oh, yeah. Well, you, you, you can't throw down in, in, in the city. Well, I know that that's why you can't tell anyone. Okay. Are you are you going to challenge him uh to the uh to the arena? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't plan it, but I have someone else that plans to. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> Blink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess I'll let let you be. Remember, Swedor. I'm not here. That's I know you're not here. <laughs> wink. Well, why? Why'd you wink that time? Be <laughs> Cut to <laughs> the kebab place. I am absolutely not blinking. <laughs> he stole all your winks. That's a good. Do you ever blink? No. Okay. There is a lot of <laughs> eyelid role play going on. <laughs> Well, plain Gia is actually Latin for. 
Wink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, they're really good kebabs. Like, you know, like after after you know days on the road and flying on the backs of those things, and you know, like being around cut wing for right, days. Right, 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 right. Ruja says, "So, what brings you to the uh, the the palace? I'm I'm here as a humble uh, dirt merchant." I mean, you know, there's not a lot of dirt around here, so it's it's kind of a, a, a seller's market. But there is a lot of dirt. Well, not like usable dirt. I mean, it's mostly ice. And it's not like there there's a lot of, uh, you know, farmland. The Snow Lord called for raiders. That's why we came here. You, you guys are raiders? I, You're a raider? Sweet little you is a raider? I punch things really hard. I'm a tree. I don't believe I don't believe that you are a raider. But I am. How about you give us all your mud? What do, oh, what no. do we need it for? We're raiders. No, well, no. what do we need mud for? <laughs> he doesn't believe us. So all we'll raid right, him. All right. Okay. He's treating us to a lovely meal. I'm very confused. <laughs> we can't steal his mud after he feeds us. We would have had to steal his mud before he fed us. <clears throat> and the Snow Lord makes it so we have to be on our best behavior. He forbidden it. Yeah. I don't like him. Well, I guess that means I don't like you. Okay, uh. I didn't, I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't want to, to, I wanted to try to smooth things over here, I, there, there's clearly some kind of conflict, and, and, and so, and, 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 and that's what, what I don't want to be a part of, is, is any sort of conflict here, so, I don't want you to not like her, and her to not like you, I mean, oh, I don't mind Pinecone, I don't like you. Well, but then she said she doesn't like you, right? And 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 I just want everybody to like each other. Like I like you, Inktail. I like I, I like the fact that um you seem to be like the 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 voice of of, of reason and like he the are you grins. like are you like the <laughs> and, and and like the leader? How come you like Inktail? <sighs> well, I mean, I like you too. Oh, okay, good. But I, I feel like we've been able to communicate a bit more. Like, we're still having trouble reestablishing our rapport from back when we were in the forest together. What's a rapport? It's a conversational ease. I mean, last time I used to just go... Yeah, and I, and I would go... No, you used, you used people word. Well, do you remember the people words? There were a lot of them in many years. Well, I'm happy to reteach you the people words if that's what it if if that's what we need to do to reestablish our connection. I don't know what he's talking about anymore. He is willing to teach you new words that were not the words that he actually said before, but he's going to make you feel like you were the person that was actually friends with her back then. <laughs> because you're a liar. Okay, I okay. think... Yes, he has the same nose. I think it might be a good idea to let Pinecode and talk to Rusha and catch up. Yeah. Let... let actually, let's go somewhere else. Is there where's where's a fun place to that you guys like to Rusha? Oh, fuck. mud boy! You know that voice. Oh, I knew, I knew that voice. Ah! Oh. The crowd parts, and you see. Five sharp fangs. In the middle, the one you recognize. The one with a necklace full of teeth from all sorts of different creatures. Red tooth. 
I take my last kebab stick and just <laughs> nail it through the table <laughs> with I, my hand. <laughs> I would like to slowly, quietly, and quickly leave. <laughs> Make like a tree and get out of here. <laughs> um, I technically recognize Red Tooth as well, mm -hmm. so I absolutely close ranks in front of Rusha and go all like you know, monk fighting stance. And, and he goes, uh, <clears throat> Red Tooth. It's so good to see you. <gasps> I think and, I inhaled a bug. And he walks towards Red Tooth, and Red Tooth just says, Let me, before you step any closer, which one of your bones would you like me to pick my teeth with? Inktail stands up from the table. Well, well, well. Looks like you've got, you've made some interesting friends since the last time we spoke. How much is he paying you? Because I know you're not loyal to him. He's talking about picking bones with his teeth. Oh, I'll pick a bone with your teeth. No. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> I was like, is that a, is, is confusing, intimidating banter? Does that fall under intimidation, performance? I don't know. You seem to have business with the dirt merchant. Oh, I have dirt with your business. <laughs> this is going to be a thing. This is going to be a thing. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the only time I can do a nice, cool one-liner is if Pinecone's not there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's just a rapport that I like. <laughs> Well, there, 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 there's no business. I, 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 I mean, we have had dealings in the past, but, but, but they're they're done now. Are they? If you thought we were done, then you wouldn't have hired this mercenary hey, and her hey, weirdo hey, friend, hey. the talk, the talking matchstick. I'm a treat. Then why don't you get out of here? What's that have to do with being a tree? I walk up to have the the right shoulder of uh, Rusha. What's going on? Is this two leg <laughs> sharp nose dummy bothering you? He, he threatened to destroy my dirt cart if I didn't pay him if I didn't or if I didn't give him because there's not money <laughs> he, threatened to to <laughs> he threatened to destroy my dirt cart if I didn't give him first uh, choice of the things that that people bartered for dirt more oh dirt. I'll give him first choice of bartering dirt. I thought there weren't any rackets here in the Snow Lord's Palace. Oh, this was before we got to the Snow Lord's Palace. Well, it looks like you're here now, so. Yeah, that's why I don't know why everybody's so scared. I mean, I know why <laughs> you're scared. Who's scared? I've never been scared a day in my life. Except, that t except when you ran away from my crew. Running doesn't have to be from fear. It was for her. I don't think so. I was there, so. Poor little Inktail got tired of being a raider. I mean, I got tired of your face. Pinecone. What? <laughs> Thumbs over. <laughs> <laughs> Take Rusha back to his cart. Okay. We go. So we're going to do this, you think? You want to dirty up this fine, shiny palace with your own blood? 
You didn't hear, Red Tooth? There's no fighting in the Snow Lord's palace. And I shoulder right into the middle of their pack. <laughs> and, and you hear like, <laughs> <laughs> and walk out the door behind him. Find me some other time. I'll pay back all the blood you had me spill. What about the arena? And like everybody's head turns. The arena. Didn't you or haven't you or haven't you been paying attention while you've been here? Just because they don't fight in the streets doesn't mean that when two associates have a legitimate issue with each other, they take they solve it in the arena. Ah. <sighs> I look and I see that I don't see Ioku anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I rest on my axe and I say, okay. The arena it is. You bring yours. I'll bring mine. Um, we'll see how it all works out. I look forward to it. Not as much as I do. And... The, the 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 raptor gang you know kind of <laughs> saunters back a little bit and then as once they figure out they're out of range of your 40 foot death charge <laughs> you're like okay uh, and I try to go find Ioku. <laughs> <laughs> where where did you end up going Ioku um I think I'm probably just looking around, looking around the palace okay. to just kind of look around and like not be by people. Well, unfortunately, budge you. Well, it's it's well. So are you trying to like find like a quiet room or something? Um, I just like I just want to be on like a quiet walk through the palace okay. and just like. I, whatever the equivalency of putting my headphones in and walking around would be. So you're you you just kind of want to clear your head and, and walk through sort of whatever quiet parts of the palace that you can find. Yeah, because everybody wants to kill me. So <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Unnerving. Uh, give me a perception check. Okay. Isn't the palace where they're taking people? Uh, but this is the no fight zone. Eighteen. Thanks. Okay. You have somehow found your way to a courtyard. Um, it overlooks the pass, or, or it, 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 it overlooks the main pass into uh, the palace. Outside, there is a blizzard that is raging. There is just handfuls of snow coming down but every time they approach the, the this courtyard they hit some sort of magical barrier and just kind of <laughs> sparkle and, and and flash reminds you of home doesn't it says a voice a voice that you know, a voice that you recognize um, Your sister's voice. Iola? You you turn and she immediately embraces you. Iola, I haven't seen you in so long. How are you? I thought I, I didn't know where you were. It's a very, very big place, Yoku. When I was knocked from the Sea of Stars, it took me a long time to understand what had happened. What, uh, what, what, how, how long have you been here? Um, do, you, do you even know? It, it, time just works differently in, in this place. I don't like it. it. Yeah, I don't like it either. It's, it's weird. I don't really understand these days. But it, it has been... It has been a while. Well... We clearly have much catching up to do. You look so good. You do too. Oh, I'm... <laughs> Thank you. She puts her arm around you. 
and she leads you back uh, into the palace. And as you walk past the guards of the palace, Mm -hmm. they bow to her. Well, or maybe to you, but probably her. Are they? Are they bowing to you? <laughs> I guess I. It's very easy to kind of put them out of your mind when, when you when you are. My vizier says an echoing voice from inside the throne room, standing in front of a. Very carefully crafted ice throne, wearing uh, a polar bear uh, like cloak, complete with the like the head, the top head as the thing. Except the the teeth have been removed, and there are jewels where the teeth are. I killed the thing that I loved the most. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's really creepy. <laughs> okay. Uh, another starling. Oh, this is a starling? Yeah. Oh, oh. 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 Hello. Oh, Lord. How are you? I, 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 I am. Oh, I'm sorry. You're at a throne. Uh, your Highness? <laughs> your Majesty? You may call me the Snow Lord. <gasps> oh, my goodness. It is so And nice. you... And you are known to my vizier? <gasps> You're a vizier? I I am I am Ayoku. This is this is my sister. I can I understand now where you what I recognize in the both of you, the loveliness. I thank you. Please join me and your sister at the long table this evening. Okay. There will be a battle in the arena. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I, oh, I, 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 okay. And that is where we end our tale for tonight. Please be sure to join us next time to see uh, just what happens uh, in the arena at the Crystal Palace. For all of us here at Theater of the Mind Players, this is Rob Whelan saying, just repeat to yourself, It's only a game. I should really just relax. Congratulations, fellow human. You've reached the end of an exciting episode of Theater of the Mind Players. If you enjoyed our story, please like the video. If you want more games, subscribe to our channel. Attack the bell for notifications on new posts. If you liked the episode, please tell us what you enjoyed the most in the comments. If you loved the episode, consider joining our Patreon. You'll get access to special shows, session zeros, and help us determine what we play on the show. We love our friends of Pat Rayon, and we hope to see you there.